What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. This one is a very special one because it's brand new and it is called the five fives challenge. You guys have seen challenges like this on my channel before. In this one, you're supposed to turn five fives into the numbers one through 10 using only those symbols plus minus times divide factorial square root and parentheses. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, so my favorite thing about puzzles like this is there are a lot of unique answers that you can get. So I'm gonna show you the answers that sort of pop into my mind, the ways that you can generate these numbers with five fives. So let's do it. First, I always like to start with the easiest number first. We can build some confidence and get in the flow. And I'm looking at five. Five is gonna be the easiest. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna add five, then we're gonna subtract. That takes us to five, right? Five plus five is 10, minus five is five plus five is 10, and then subtract again, and boom, we're down to five. We've done the first one. Okay, now let's move on to four. So with four, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add five, so I'm gonna get to 10, then I'm gonna subtract five, and now I'm back to five. Now all I need to do is take away one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two fives and divide them. Now technically, I don't need to throw any parentheses around them because division is supposed to happen first in order of operations. I'm gonna add them anyways, just so it's clear that these guys are happening first and that's turning into a one and then I'm gonna be five plus five is ten minus five is five minus that one is four boom done all right now let's move on to number one so the way I'm gonna set that one up is I'm gonna say five plus five is ten then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide that by five over here let's throw a double parentheses around this because now I've got ten divided by five is two all I need to do is turn these two guys into one, right? Five divided by five is one. Then we subtract these guys. I got two minus one is one, boom, done. Next, let's move on to six. Six is very similar to four. Just like I'm subtracting one here, I'm just gonna do the same thing, but add one, right? So again, we're gonna go five plus five is 10, minus five is five. So at this point, we're at five. Now all I need to do is add a one, and I already know I can get a one by dividing those two fives, boom, done. Now I'm gonna go back to three, and the reason why is because it connects with one very nicely. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did with one. I'm gonna add those two fives together, then I'm gonna divide by those fives. Now we're gonna be at a two, right? 10 divided by five is two. And now instead of subtracting the one to get to one, I'm going to add that one and we finish at two plus one is three and we are done. All right, next let's move on to two. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take these middle fives and I'm going to add them. That's gonna give me five plus five plus five is 15. Then I'm gonna take that value and I'm gonna divide it by five because 15 divided by five gives me three. And let's put this whole thing in parentheses, right? So we're gonna do all of that first. Then I'm simply gonna subtract that three from the value five and we end with two. Now let's move on to seven. So all I need to do is I need to add one to five two times, right? Well, this is perfect. I can take this pair of fives and turn it to turn it into a one. And I can take this pair of fives and turn that into a one. Now we just add them up straight down the line. Five plus one plus one gives me seven. Next, let's go to eight. So we already learned how we can get a three. We can simply add five plus five plus five. That gives me a 15. And now again, we're gonna divide that 15 by five and we get a three. And then I'm gonna add this whole thing to that five up front. So it's 15 divided by five, which is three plus five over there gives me eight. Now let's move on to nine. So what I'm gonna do with nine is first, we're gonna multiply those first two fives and get five times five is 25. Then I'm gonna subtract five and that gives me 20. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna divide by five, right? 20 divided by five is four. So I'm gonna throw another set of parentheses around this. Again, we don't necessarily need to, but just to break it up, never hurts. And I'm gonna add that four to five and we get nine. Last but not least, we come to 10. And again, I'm gonna use the fact that I already know if I divide these guys, I can turn them into ones. So let's turn those both into ones. Let's add them together. And then I'm gonna take this entire quantity which is two, right? Five divided by five is one, plus five divided by five is again 
one, one plus one is two, and now I don't need extra parentheses, order of operation said division has to happen first, but let's do it just for fun, just so it's clear, right? We got a parentheses there, parentheses like that. Now I got one plus one is two, and last but not least, this entire two, we multiply it by five and we get 10. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. And if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.